Welcome to another Spread Cheaters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spread Cheaters website. In this video, we'll see how to remove parentheses in Excel. Parentheses or brackets have multiple uses in Excel. When they are used in text, uh, they form uh, elements of punctuation. They are used in formulas to uh, create uh, groups and uh, they can be used to uh, indicate the start of a function. They are used to encapsulate functions when uh, writing formulas in Excel. Many times when you are cleaning data, you will find that parentheses are used in places that they are not required. Especially since Excel is uh, used frequently when you are exporting data from other applications, the way the data is arranged may uh, introduce parentheses in places that you don't need them. So in this example, I have got uh, some names, but the titles for each of those names have come in parentheses or brackets. So I want to remove this so that the title forms part of the name. So there are two ways of doing this. Uh, one is to use the find and replace. So I can open the find and replace box either by pressing Control H or under the home menu, go to find and select and choose the replace option. So now in this case, I will have to run this twice because there are two parentheses. There's the left uh, bracket and the right one. So let's start with the left. I'll say find the left bracket and replace with, I'm going to leave blank because I don't want it to be replaced. So I'm replacing it with nothing and I'll say replace all. So Excel tells me that it's done and 12 replacements have been made and uh, that looks fine. So now let's remove the right bracket or the right parenthesis. And again, I'm not replacing it with anything and I'll say replace all. So again, it's 12. So OK and close. And you can see that the brackets have been removed. Now this can be used if it's uh, only a one-off. If you have got a temporary file and you just want to remove the brackets uh, like this and maybe you're just going to copy this data and use it elsewhere. But if you have, you're performing a data cleaning operation and you're going to have to do this frequently, you may want a more static way of removing the parentheses. So for that, uh, I'm going to use the substitute function. So I'll press Ctrl Z to bring back the parentheses and let's see how to use it. So the substitute function in Excel, it takes the text, which in this case is this piece of text. Now I have to give the old text, which in this case, I'm starting with the left bracket. This is the old value and I have to mention what I want to replace it with. In this case, I want nothing, so I'm just going to press a double quote. The last uh, argument is optional, which uh, in which you can specify the number of instances or the number of occurrences of that character, but I don't need this, so I can close the bracket and say enter. So now I see that only the left bracket has been removed. I want to remove the right bracket. To do that, I will add another substitute function to this one. So again, type uh, substitute. Now in this case, the old text or the text to be changed is the original formula, the formula I created earlier. And the text to be replaced is the right bracket. And again, replace with nothing and close brackets and say enter. And now in one single formula, by nesting or inserting one substitute function in another, I'm able to remove both the uh, brackets or the parentheses. I can now drag the fill handle down to copy the formula to the rest of the cells. So these are two ways of uh, removing parentheses in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.